good afternoon guys i am looking like a hot mess my hair is just doing things right now and this light is kind of being weird but it is looks a lot later than it is in the day because we have this covering the window we still haven't got on blinds so we just have like this big gray blanket covering but this guy is going taking a nap he's on his way to taking a nap right now <laughs> and I'm gonna take off Target because we need some diapers and some other stuff but I'm putting him down for a nap first so then he naps the whole time I'm gone and then when I get back um, he might be waking up and I'm gonna just quickly fix his hair so as soon as he goes down I am gonna take off and then I'm pretty much on borrowed time um, and I think my screen is dirty but I'm not exactly sure but yeah um, I decided to start a vlog and I know it's like kind of late for the vlog, but um, Yeah, just decided to start a vlog today. I've been watching Tara Tara Henderson on YouTube like all morning and I was just like I feel like vlogging today So we're gonna do that and I'll take you guys along with Target with me and Do a little Target haul as well um, But yeah That is on the agenda today other than I'm having a huge breakout. I don't know what's going on with my skin, but I've been breaking out along my chin, which I believe is hormonal. So, being that I just had him a month ago, that is probably pretty normal. And this one is having his little, like, smiley sleep smiles. <laughs> He's just fully smiling. Happy baby, except he kept us up from, well, kept me up from 2 to 6 a.m. last night. And I hadn't gone to sleep before 2 a.m., so I was up all night long until 6 a.m. I finally went to sleep and slept till about 12, but woke up at, he slept from 6 to 10 a.m. And then fell asleep right after nursing, and then, um, and then woke up again at 12 and wanted to feed again and then I've been up since then so it has been a very tiring morning uh, just pretty much laying in bed did my makeup in bed ate in bed ate breakfast in bed ate lunch in bed what what is my lunch but it's way too late for lunch but yeah just did everything in bed today did my makeup and we are just relaxing in bed finally got my room situation a little bit better because um i'm not sure if i uploaded the vlog or not don't know yet but we didn't have a dresser so this room was just chaos and a disaster um and i'll explain a little later obviously we moved we no longer live in the apartment we're living in we ended up purchasing a manufactured home and i'll go into a little bit more detail with that, I feel like it's not that long of a story, but the pro buying process was a horrible time. But um, I ended up buying this dresser. I ended up buying this dresser off of Wayfair, and I am really enjoying it. It wasn't that hard to put together. I thought it was going to be way harder. I just laid out all the pieces and put it all together. What was difficult, and I'll show you right now um, a little closer, is... I only have two hands and my, my other hand's down here. Um, but the little, I don't know if you can see the little handles on there, were really difficult to screw in. Um, so we had to get the power drill and screw those in. So Spencer did that for me. Because I spent like 20 minutes trying to like screw them in and they just wouldn't go in. So then he just power drilled them in really quickly. I have another hat. My hat, I left it in the car and it got squished. So I'm trying to flatten my hat out right now. And the other hat is going to go right below that tan one. Um, and then that lamp that I had was such an old lamp that I got from Goodwill. And it was like a terracotta. And then I painted it yellow years ago. And my, I wanted like yellow and grays. I don't know what I was thinking. And so I painted it black. And I'm really enjoying it. So I just have this little setup here. And then this is this is clothes that I need to get rid of. Um... And then we have his pack and play here, and then all the pillows on the back. <laughs> and the snuggle me, the boppy, the breastfeeding, the breastfeeding. We just have so many pillows. So, soon enough we, we will be selling all of these. All of these pillows will be for sale. 
sooner or later. But yeah, that is that is the update. So since he is pretty much asleep, are you asleep? You're supposed to be asleep. Not looking at me with eyes closed. He's like kind of has him like closed. He's like mm -mm. I'm watching your mom. Um, but yeah, so as soon as he falls asleep, we're gonna take off to Target. Because Target isn't as close as it used to be. It is, in a sense, but it isn't. Go to sleep! I did not record when I got here, but getting all the necessities. My, ba my basket looks so full, but I don't really have that many things. But I was trying to get some Starbucks when I got here, and stupid little coupon wouldn't upload and they wouldn't take it if it wasn't uploaded onto the thing so I just gave up on it and was like I'm running out of time and I need to go because I'm on a time crunch so I have to go okay all done with that Target run um that was like probably the quickest I've ever been in and out of Target it's 5 40 I took off at 5 um so I did this really really quickly um because I know I need to go because I can have a, I have a feeling Asher is going to be waking up soon. He usually wakes up at 6. So I will show you guys what I got from Target when I get home. Um, so I can head over there already and just in case he wakes up and is ready to feed. Because I have a feeling he is going to be ready to feed. But I haven't gotten a text. He has a bottle there of course. Um, just in case I wasn't there. Like he has food there. But I like to be there to nurse him and then save that milk if I can since I'm going to be returning to work in less than two weeks um or like in two weeks or so at six weeks since i come but in about two weeks i'll be returning to work so i want to make sure i have enough milk stored and at the moment i have two bags stored so i really need to get up on that um i probably will start supplementing um some formula in there just because i don't feel like i'm producing enough milk to store that much and i will probably end up introducing um i think i'm going to go with like infamil uh, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I probably will be going with formula soon. And I better back out because there's like four cars waiting and I think they're, there's a spot right next to me, but there's a lot of cars trying to back in and out of here and one's waiting for me. Okay, bye. Okay, home now. I changed back into my t-shirt um, because it was getting a little warm in what I was wearing. So I thought I would show you guys what I got from Target and I was right, I said that when I took off, I was like, I have a feeling he's going to be waking up like any minute now. And sure enough, when I got home, as soon as I walked in the door, he was waking up. And sorry, the lighting is so orange in here. Super orange. And I'm wearing an orange shirt, so that doesn't help. But let me show you what I got. And I already kind of broke into some of it because I had to feed him when I got here. So I ate some of it. So over here, so I ended up getting the cheese it snapped. So I told you I was watching Terry Lynn and she recommended these she was like oh they're so good they didn't have the regular cheese ones so i got the these are the jalapeno jack ones and these are so good so i had that with a body armor drink um and somebody's getting the fussy fussy over here you getting fussy yeah you getting fussy you're like hello is anybody there give me a few minutes okay are you trying to poop Oh, one moment. Okay. Okay, back to what I was saying. And then I ended up picking up this. This is the Wine Club Rosé. I do not know if this is good. I want to have a glass of wine, but I don't want to buy a whole bottle because obviously I'm not going to be drinking a whole bottle right now. So I just got this little thing. It has like three glasses in here, but I only have one glass um, since I am breastfeeding. Um, so probably end up having like a glass of this and then giving him a bottle and then um letting it like wear off my body but i'll let you guys know this it said it was a this is a medium dry and i kind of like more of like a medium sweet or a sweet wine but they only have medium dry so i thought i would try it and also i'm not a big fan of rose but i got a rose so we'll try that out and then red bull for spencer and I haven't had a monster in probably almost like a year now. So I definitely got I got a white monster to have. I'm gonna go pick him up in just a bit. He's getting fussy. He wants only wants to be like my arms. Toilet paper. Napkins. 
catch up because we go through that and then I am still taking prenatals and I ran out so since I am breastfeeding still taking prenatals so I have those there hey okay so bought a case of some Huggies, the little snugglers. Um, really like these, the newborn size. Got one pack because I believe he's going to be soon transitioning to size one. Um, so didn't want to buy too many of these and then end up with newborn diapers that we're not going to use. And then excuse my hat that I'm trying to flatten out that I have like, trying to flatten out the best I can. And then we got some wipes like these because they have like enough like wetness in them. Um, so got some of those. Got him some, this is the Baby Dub um, tip to toe wash. And then the lotion. So I just got both of like the big things because we won't have to buy any in for a while. Um, and then this is it's for your eczema prone skin. He doesn't have eczema, but just in case, I'd rather use something with sensitive and fragrance free than use something with fragrance and then end up having to get something for eczema. And then we need some more diaper rash. So daily defense. And then some more saline spray and drops because he's had a, like a s stuffy like nose. Um, and they said that was really, really normal for um, newborns, especially breastfed, to have stuffy noses because we had to come to the doctor because I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting a fever or or was sick or anything like that. And I said, nope, he is perfectly healthy and fine. I got this little thing. This is the Itsy Mitsies by Itsy Ritsy. Um, and it was on clearance for $4.48 and usually these are $8. So I was like, ooh, I want to get one of these. So it's pretty much like 50% off. And he won't use it now, but when he starts teething, I was like, that would be, this is like a great little thing. It's like a little mitt that they can just chew on and it's a little pineapple one so I thought I thought that was cute and it was on clearance so grabbed that and then grabbed some hand sanitizer this is like the spray one so when we're out we can use that because I don't have any and then I got some Myers clean everyday the multi-surface for my countertops because what I'm using right now I do have the seventh generation. This is the disinfecting multi-surface cleaner. I also use this for disinfecting, but I hate the way this smells. This smells really weird, but this is for cold and flu. So I will continue using this, but for a just a wipe down situation, I'd rather just use this everyday cleaner because it just smells a lot better. And I got the snowdrop one because they were all out of the fall one. So I was like, okay, well, We'll just get this one. This one actually smells pretty good. Um, it doesn't smell super Christmassy. It just has like a really nice scent to it. So that is everything that we got at the store. Um, and yeah, now I'm just going to put all that stuff away, take the trash out, and give you guys a little like life update, I guess. Um, so I'll see you guys in just a sec. Oh, also. When we went to the pumpkin patch yesterday, the day before yesterday, they gave Asher a little free little pumpkin um, since it was his like first time out like in the world pretty much and she was like, oh, I feel honored and they gave him a little pumpkin. We went to this local pumpkin patch called Cross and Produce, um, Cross Plants and Produce and we got some, we haven't tried it yet, um, but we got some strawberry preserve blackberry preserves and I'm guessing they make it there but it's cute it comes in a little glass thing and we also got cream honey because Spencer loves um, honey and this one's creamed so that should be interesting but I'm leaving all this on top of here because again trying to flatten this hat out because it's just it got really squished and this is what it is it's just all popped up. So I'm trying to flatten this out. If anybody knows a better way, please let me know. But this is the only way I can think of. And I have bags in here because this was all, it was really squished. I thought it was going to be gone forever. But yeah. Okay, so I thought I would go ahead and explain, um, like, 
our move and everything like that um, just because I kind of it just jumped into me having a baby and me not being pregnant anymore um, so pretty much we moved um, about I, mean, I know actually I'm not gonna get into like oh, we, we moved we moved at, in the beginning of September, right before Asher was born. Um, Asher was born September 10th, so literally 10 days before he was born. Um, and my last video explained everything about my labor and everything like that. I just pretty much sat around thinking, yeah, I pretty much just sat around thinking that my water didn't break. But anyways, we moved into a manufactured home, um, purchased a manufactured home, and the reason why we did that was because rent in Austin is so expensive. And the places that we were going to rent for about $1,400 were really not nice. They were not nice at all, and our rent at our apartment went up by $400. So it was going to be almost $2,000 to live in the same apartment that we were living in. Um, and it just went up because we were paying thirteen hundred for the apartment that we were living in, which is a really, really good deal because we had like a we had a attached garage and everything like that, which was wonderful. So that worked out really well because we I did use um, one of those like ag like agencies. What is it called? Like the apartment finder, whatever they find like deals and whatnot on Instagram. So I used that to find the apartment that we were living in. And we got it on a special, like on a deal, because um, apparently it hadn't been leased in over a month. So they had it at $1,300. Um, and then we got our first month for free. So we got that apartment on a really great deal. So we thought when it renewed, we were gonna, it was going to renew probably for maybe like $50, $200 more, um, which would have been doable. Um, but instead it went up to $1,700 and some, um, which was just ridiculous because we were like okay well why are we going to pay that much more for the same apartment we're living in for that amount of money we can go we can live in an even bigger apartment we don't care for the attached garage that one was just kind of like the deal when it came with the attached garage we don't really care for the garage because we didn't use it um so we decided okay well then maybe we should look into purchasing and if you're actually going to purchase like a, a home in Austin, it is going to run you anywhere for a decent home, anywhere from 300 to half a million dollars. And in this, at this moment, we're just not in the position to purchase that big of a home. And then I was going on maternity leave, and my maternity leave is not paid. So it was kind of just a lot, and I'm pretty sure that's why I went into labor early. It was just I was was stressing out. Um, and I know that isn't good, but you can't really help yourself from stressing. Um, so we ended up um, looking into manufactured homes because we were like, okay, well, we're no, we know we're not in the position or ready to fully purchase a home that that at that amount, um, the home that like, we actually want. We're just not ready. We're not in the position. So then we were looking into manufactured homes, and we decided to go that route because they're a lot less expensive. And at least we would be paying on something that we that would eventually be ours that we could rent out. Um, we could just keep it rented out, or we could just resell it. And we decided to do it in one of those um, in a community because for sure it would end up getting sold or rented out. Um, so we ended up doing that, and it came out to a lot less expensive than renting. So our mortgage is way less expensive than any apartment anywhere but we did end up moving to San Marcos instead of the Austin area um, the only reason why is because the homes that we were looking at they didn't have them in the communities over there um, so they had one for a really good price here in San Marcos but it was already on the land and that was gonna have the fast it was a turnkey so we could move in faster if not we could have I lived in one in Austin, but it was going to take over six months to end up moving in, or like, or four months or something like that, because they would have to build it and everything like that, and then deliver it, and all these extra costs. Because we had originally planned to buy a manufactured buy land and put a manufactured home on there, and then we were like, okay, and then at least we own the land, 
we could then build on that land and build a home. I'm sorry if this is shaky. I'm holding this with my hand. Um, but in order to put a manufactured home on a piece of land, it comes out to a ridiculous price that we're like, why? Might as well just buy a brick home because in order to hook up everything, it's going to come out to like, it's going to come out to the same price that they have to go out there and like check the land to move the trailer. Like it was going to be way more. So we decided to do a manufactured home and we decided to do a manufactured home that is like literally the base base level. It's not the biggest one. It's on the smaller side one. It's three bedroom, two bath still. Um, but everything is like base model. Um, and the reason why we do that is because we don't plan to live here forever. Um, so we don't we don't want to put spend a lot of money on something we're not going to be living in forever. We plan to live here three or four years, and it's still nicer than friggin' most of the apartments in Austin that we were looking at that were fourteen hundred that just had paint over and like you could literally peel the paint off the like wallpaper because there were so many layers of paint on there because um, they're really really older apartments um, that just weren't really in nice areas. But um, so yeah, we ended up doing a manufactured home and you're slowly moving and there's a lot of stuff since it is smaller um in the sense of no it's like the same in square footage smaller in some areas like living room and everything like that like in kitchen um to like get that extra like i guess bedroom um which is nice because we do have a nursery now for asher it's a really it's a small room but he's baby he doesn't need a huge room what's he gonna for all his activities um but it's good for us for now because then we can actually save. If we would have moved to an apartment and would have been paying almost like $2,000 for an apartment, it would have been way more difficult to actually save money. Instead, we were just like throwing that money away. It was, it was going towards nothing. So we decided, well, we'll just do a manufactured home and invest our money into something and then we'll actually have room to save um, money to buy a home um, in a few years later and another thing was Spencer is a veteran um, and he does get like a VA loan but VA loan does not do manufactured homes and when we were looking into doing a VA loan for a brick home um, we and the only thing that was unfortunate was that we could only use one income which was his because we're not married so I couldn't be on there and we couldn't use my income so it was looking like a one income household um, so we just couldn't get it again. We wouldn't have been able to get what we wanted in a home and would have kind of just, eat, like, spent more money on something that we are like, hmm, well, now we're in a longer mortgage and we don't really like the place. So this home is literally less than most, than uh, this this house is less than a Range Rover. I'll just tell you that. But we are doing like little things to make it more homey, and we are gonna be doing like little like changes, cabinets, and just like little home projects. That I'm excited to see this place like just kind of like change a little bit, um, and just see like it become more homey. So there's some home projects coming, some renovations that we plan to do just to make this place look a lot nicer, like upgrades. Um, so when we do come to resell it, we still resell it for an affordable price for somebody, but they'll actually get like nicer upgrades because a lot of the upgrades that you would get in a manufactured home are really cheap. They look nice, but they're actually really just, they're cheap. They're, it's particle wood and it is, they'll do plastic things that look nice to the eye, but they're like plastic. A lot of the stuff just really isn't quality and you're just paying more money for the look of it but it actually doesn't have the quality so might as well just go out and buy it on your own um and you'll end up spending less money on something that is going to last longer pretty much like when we got here like the toilet seats broke like right away like the first thing that broke were the toilet seats as soon as Spencer sat on them the toilet the toilets broke because they were really cheap plastic so we ended up buying new toilet seats because that was needed if not your butt was going to be pinched every single time but yeah, that is the update on that, and update on little Asher is um, he's over a month now, and he has some nights are harder than others, um, but he's been having like, lots of like little gas pains, 
Um, so we do have gripe water and we were doing probiotics up until last night, the day before yesterday. And for a little thing of probiotics, it's like $30. Um, and I accidentally left it in my breast friend, the little pocket on that, and threw it in the washing machine and then threw it in the dryer. The little thing didn't break, but it's definitely not good anymore, so I had to trash it, which was so sad because I had just purchased them not that long ago. Like, ugh. I was so sad about that. But he's been having, also, he had a stuffy nose, and we got really concerned because, like, oh my god, he's sick. Um, he's sick. How did he get sick? I don't know how he got sick. Like, we haven't taken him anywhere. Um, but they said it was very normal for breastfed babies to sound really nasally and stuffy and congested. Um, as long as we're clearing it out, we have like the nose Frida that we use. Um, and that's pretty much it. But the doctor's like, no, he's perfectly fine. Well, the pediatrician, he's perfectly fine. His lungs sound good. He looks good. As long as like, if it's just a stuffy nose, it's very normal. As long as he's still peeing and pooping like regularly, like everything should be, like everything's fine. Um, unless like his nose starts flaring or like his like, um, rib cage like really start look, looks like he's using lots of like muscle to like breathe then to be concerned and take him in but other than that he was all good um and i think that is the only updates i have that i can pick up at the moment but yeah i've been looking like this a lot lately just fun dirty hair because haven't washed it and I don't yeah well just haven't washed it definitely washing my body but just not washing my hair um yeah the t-shirts because I change my shirt very often because he spits up on them Cause, and he's been spinning up a little bit more so I think he's having some like reflex issues because he's trying to poop and trying to fart and he pushes so hard all everything just comes up but yeah um, go to my Instagram if you guys want to check out some cute pumpkin, pat pic pumpkin patch pictures. We took our first family pictures the day before yesterday, um, and they came out so cute. So cute. Uh, my friend Viviana and her boyfriend Thomas did them, and they have their own photography company called TMV Photography, so definitely go follow them. I'll link their Instagram below. Um, they did such a good job. The pictures came out so good, and I'm so excited about them. So I'll definitely be framing those. Um, an IKEA trip will be coming soon after I start working. Um, after I start work and everything like that, and getting to like a regular schedule, I need to take a trip to IKEA. We don't have one in Santa Marcos, close to one day there, and we were on Brock or San Antonio. I'll probably go to San Antonio because my sister and we can just meet up and have a little girl stay there. Uh, and I will definitely take Asher with me because he'll be old enough to go, um, and I'll just be gone for too long. But yeah, uh, definitely IKEA trips coming up, everything like that. Organizing because we have we need storage so we can organize stuff because there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't have a place. Um, but I think that's the only thing I can think of that I can update you guys on. Um, hopefully more vlogs to come. I always say this in like every single video. I'm trying to be more consistent. Um, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people do it with kids and newborns and they continuously have an upload schedule I don't know how they do it um, it beats me how they do it but I'm gonna try to be better at it and try to start uploading more um, yeah I'm drained and tired and that monster is sounding really good to me right now I will see you guys in the next one. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's just Liz Renee. That'll be linked down below as well. Um, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.